Okay, so I'm picking up my friend Liz. Um, she's gonna be going with me to Disneyland today. My foundation does not match my face. Once again, it's like a saga because I'm trying to find a new foundation and I can't find one that matches my face ever once I hit daylight. So there's that. Um, not really a problem, it's fine. My cousin gave me bangs, she's a hairstylist, and she kind of cut them like more than I wanted her to, so I feel a little weird, a um, little retro, but it's cool, it's different. I'm sure you guys will notice that, and uh, yeah. If you're wondering why I'm not wearing my seatbelt, I'm literally about to stop right now and get out of the car. I'm picking up my friend Liz, um, we're going together. I'm not gonna force her to be in the vlog, she might wanna be in the vlog, she's from the city. Her pass is expiring, she wanted to go. Who else to call but the Disneyland master, grand master, Sensei. So yeah, that's what's happening. Hello, oh, I am back in two, uh, in two. I am back. That is weird. <laughs> We're just gonna hang out here. Uh, if you're looking for a good place to get a drink, I highly recommend Carthay Circle. The drinks are good. They're not more expensive than anywhere else in the park. And um, it's a nice ambiance. It's cool. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> Look at this. Check this out. See, it's super cute. Ah, there you are, my lady. May I join you? Yes, you may. Thank you. So, what do you think? Does it feel very 1920s? I like it. It's definitely vintage vibes. We are gonna get a drink here. Okay, wait. Whoa, blurry. Okay, there's better. I think I need some more. Ooh, that's a lot of that's a lot of highlight on my nose. Sorry, I was overcompensating for. Uh, I did a little bit too much contour. I don't know how to do that yet. So my friends kind of teach me. Anyways, um, the cocktails I recommend here that you must try. This listen up. This in classroom? No, I'm just kidding. This is right here. I'm talking to her, but I'm talking to you too. Um, oh, I fast forwarded a bunch of me looking through the menu. So now, the double pear martini. It has its own Yelp page. It's so good. It has a pear in it, a real pear in it, and it's not overly sweet. It's very refreshing, super delish. $17.50, but very good. Okay, this is one of the more expensive drinks. Now, the Cadillac Margarita here, which is a margarita with Grand Marnier on the top is only $11. And out there, they have margaritas that are $13 and mostly just sugar and way less alcohol. And they're the gross because they hurt your stomach. Okay. Another thing I want to recommend in here the Tequila Daisies Eye. It is a tequila based martini type of looking thing. And it has gold petals on it, gold flower petals. It's kind of floral, not my cup of tea. And lastly, the Vesper Martini. I do not think it's even on the menu. It has a cheesy truffle olive on it. It's a very expensive olive, truffle, truffle blue cheese. And uh, it tastes like water, it's dangerous. Two sips, you're out, you're done. Like the mouse, Timothy Mouse from Dumbo, you're done. You're done. Well, I'm getting that shit. That's what you want? The best. It tastes like water. Why would you want that one? I don't know. You just you said two sips and I'm done. Liz has not been drinking. Liz, why would you do that? It's very strong, Liz. Oh, then can I call them? Do it if you want to do it. Do it if you want to do it. Pear martini. The pear one is so good. I'm jealous. I don't think I'm going to get that one now. Ugh. Okay, check this out. So that's delish. And I got some of those truffle blue cheese olives on the side. They're 275 for two. They're really good though. Liz, tell me what you think. Wow. It's like a pear. Is it, no, bite the pear. Bite the pear. Do it. Wow. That's good. Is it? It's yeah. juicy, right? It's juicy. It's delicious. Wow. Isn't it? I know, the drink is so refreshing. Oh, it's too much light. So, I haven't had this in a while. It's actually stronger than I remember. I know, it's kind of strong. Or I haven't been drinking it very often. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. I highly recommend. This is my favorite part. I like that it's not super sweet. It's not very sweet at all. It's kind of like refreshing lem lemonade that's not sweet with alcohol in it. I always think that it kills a drink when it's too sweet. What about you, Liz? You know what? It's perfect. Absolutely. You're perfect, Liz. I like how you look at my ears. I claimed you. 
I forgot to get her reaction. We're eating the olives and she went, oh my gosh, Liz. Wow, this olive is delicious. So good. It's worth ordering this on the side for $275. Does it have cheese in it? Yes, blue okay. cheese. Great, right? Right? In your drink, you would love it too because the Vesper is like, uh, it's like perfect with it. So these olives come with the Vesper martini, which we didn't get, but I wanted the olives. And they charge $2.75 for two of them, but they're really, really good. They have um, blue cheese in them. The blue cheese truffle blue cheese, I think. And it's really good. Just, I'm not even an olive person. They're good. Uh, it's on blurry. I just made Liz chug her drink because it's been like an hour. I feel a little funny right now because I didn't eat enough. So I'm gonna go get some food. But like, that was a really strong drink. I don't remember it being that strong. We were both like, oh my gosh, the entire thing kind of tastes like a shot. Maybe not. Maybe that's a lie. People keep telling me to get a stabilizer. I need to, but it's like 200 bucks. <laughs> you should get one. I'm out of breath. I'm out of shape. She's a runner. I'm not. This is my favorite ride. I haven't been on it in months. Months! She likes it too, so. Let's see. The wait time. Ah, oh, damn it, Liz. It's 55 minutes. The plans. It's a 55 minute wait, and we're not down right now. It was 35 minutes. So we're gonna go to Incredicoaster and probably come back and see what it is and then maybe go on it. Why, yes I am. Yes, I am filming today. Welcome to my video today, also. So, Garnet and Salad Fries from Award Winners first. Yeah, boy! Those are like a nine out of 10, I swear to you. I saw that. Wow. Pretty bomb, man. I mean, honestly, you said 9 out of 10, I say 10 out of 10. Probably. Good. Small detour into Animation Academy because Liz has never done it and it's worth it for anybody who's never done it to do Animation Academy. If you don't already know, every 30 minutes and every top of the hour they do a new drawing of the character. They have the chart listed in here. This is also the location of Beast's Library, one of my favorite spots. I'm sorry I'm blurry. And um, you can just draw a character and it's a 10 minute thing and it's fun, so why not? It's my favorite spot inside the whole park, inside the whole resort. They change the movie every like 30 seconds. 4.56, so at 5 p.m. they're doing Winnie the Pooh. Cute! Okay, we're doing Winnie the Pooh. That's like your ears! You're wearing Winnie the Pooh ears! <laughs> Woo! Oh my god. Staring straight back at me. That's like the worst thing ever. <laughs> Winnie! Anyone else have a little stuffed animal poo bear when they were little? And your pencil, there's no eraser. A little stinger. Because poo bear is definitely Good job. Sorry. What did you think about that experience? It was great. It was, it was short. Ten minutes? Yeah, I know, right? Really quick. I know. Oh we're, we're, not, we're not keeping them. We're throwing them away in the recycling bin. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Aw, Peter Pan. I love this one. Beast Library? What's that? Beauty and the Beast Library. Oh, oh yeah. let me just show you. 
This is my favorite spot. I don't know why. Or people always ask me where it is. Now you know. Sorcerer's Workshop. They don't advertise it, so it's a secret spot. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> I summoned it. Did you see that? Beyond the spot, a room of books and mirrors that can change your looks. Where characters from A to Z reflect your personality. Okay, I didn't understand that, but okay. Let's go. <laughs> Beast's library. Okay, so this <gasps> it's an evil. Okay, it's gonna turn when the last petal falls, it's gonna turn glittery. We gotta we gotta wait for that part. Come on. It happens like every 30 seconds. Probably this one for sure. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> yes! This is the moment. Woo! Ciao! <laughs> How cute. So we are, ooh, look at the sky. We're making our way down to Incredicoaster. We're probably gonna do single rider. Because the wait time is 50 minutes, but the single rider line is usually about 20. I have to hold this so far away, I'm probably gonna whack people because of blurriness. Okay, we're getting a pretzel first because we're kind of hungry, and she wants a cream cheese stuffed pretzel, and I want a jalapeno cheddar stuffed pretzel. So we're gonna get pretzels, and then we're gonna go on the incredible coaster. So the jalapeno cheddar stuffed pretzel, delicioso. Some hot piping hot cheese. Mm. What do you think about it? It's time to return to shore. <laughs> Can't eat mine and hold the camera, but I love this. It's very good. It's a classic pretzel with jalapeno cheddar and hot cheese on the side. I'm still blurry. Oh, I know. I'm good. I'm good. So, we are at the craft scene. We got the lobster quesadilla and the avocado toast and the cheese. Something. Cheese something. Dave, are you still anonymous? Huh? Of course. Whoa! What's up? Gang, gang. Disney gang, gang. Liz, I highly recommend with cream. That is like a nine and a half out of ten. I have not had this yet though, but that looks really good too. Nothing here is ever bad. I just had the avocado toast for the first time. Magnifique. speak. Lemony, a little bit of pomegranate on it. I like that. Toast is good. The cheese on the side is I too. Overall, I would give that thing like a nine out of ten. Maybe like a 10 out of 10, I don't know. I don't really like the bread as much though as I like the avocado, so that's kind of why. What do you like better, the lobster quesadilla or the avocado toast? <laughs> no way. Wow, that's bomb. Gosh, it's a wedding reception. TFTI, want a wedding crash? Okay, I want to be Vince Vaughn. <laughs> I, you'd be Owen Wilson. It's cold, it's dark. 
a long day for me. Ooh. Wow, you got all the balloons. <laughs> Imagine the kids just like, Daddy, I want them all. <laughs> yeah, I probably. want them now. Like Billy Walker. All right, guys, we out. We about to crash into the wedding. See you next week.